Okay, so welcome back. We are on page 61. Um, we are going to go over homework first. Please make sure you have your index card out. Remember, this is the index card we did yesterday. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. Multiplication and division go left to right. Addition and subtraction go left to right. right. So number six looks like this. Now here is what I need you to do. If you do not understand or you disagree with the answer I'm giving you, I need you to pop your hand up and ask questions. questions. Remember, if you ask questions, you get purple slips. Yep, good question slips. So here's number six. Parentheses, 45 plus 25, parentheses, divided by 10. So here's my slip. What, do, what am I going to do first? I, can I do, do I have any parentheses? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So 45 plus 25 is, blurt. 70. 70. So I have 70. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pull some random colors, so let me know if you can't see them, okay? So this is 70 divided by 10. So the only other option is 70 divided by 10. Now, somebody said, Ms. Richardson, I, I don't know how to do 70 divided by 10 yesterday. And I said, well, do you know 7 divided by 1? And they said, sure, I know 7 divided by 1 is 7. Well, if I have a 0 and I divide a 0, it's going to take off my 0. So my answer is just going to be 7. What questions do you have about that problem? Again, if you got it, smiley face it. Okay, let's look at number seven. Uh, let's see, do I have enough room? I think I do. I think I do. Number seven looks like this. Sixty-three minus fifty-four. Stop the clicking. Divided by nine. Do I have any parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division? Yes. Multiplication and division would be division. 54 divided by 9 is blurt. It's not 7. It is 6. So now I have 63. Remember, you write out your whole problem. 63 minus 6. Well, I don't like to do addition and subtraction that way, so I'm going to stack mine. Borrow. 13 minus 6 is what? 7. And bring down my 5. So my answer would be 57. What questions do you have? If you got it wrong, is it because you got the division wrong? Maybe. Thumbs up if you got the division piece wrong. Okay. Did you get the steps right? What? So you did the subtraction before the division? Yeah. But you see why we do it the other way? What questions do you have? Any questions? Again, if you got it right, give yourself a smiley face. All right, on to the next page, number eight. Bringing my card back. 
I have. Now, this one I know confused quite a few people. So it says a half plus a half times five. What do I have to do first? first I have to do the parentheses first you are right now if I have a half a pizza and a half a pizza I now have a whole pizza so half plus a half is a whole pizza so one times five one times five is what questions do you have? Oh, exponents? Yeah. No, because we got to do parentheses first. Oh. Right? So we always start at the top. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division from left to right, addition and subtraction. Does that make sense? Okay. Number, number nine. Did you have any questions on this? Smileys, if you got it right. Number nine. 15 plus 16 minus 6 times 1. Let me through this problem. You 16 minus 6? Why? Because I have the parentheses. Right? So 16 minus 6 is what? Now what do I do? You do 15 plus 10. I have to do a step before that. You bring down. I have to bring everything down, right? So 15 plus 10 times 1. Now what do I do next? You do 15 plus 10. Why? Good catch. Ten times one, which is what? Ten. Oops, I didn't skip my spot. There we go. Ten plus fifteen. Now what do I do? Yep, so what's fifteen plus ten? Beautiful. What questions do you have for that one? How many people have gotten most of them right? Raise your hands. Excellent. How many people are feeling pretty good about this? Raise your hands. Woohoo. All right. Number 10. I have. 18 plus 23 plus 22 plus 9. Oh, I did I write, write the wrong one down? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good catch. Sorry. I was in the mood for adding, apparently. Okay, so what do I do first? Um, 18 plus 23 plus 26. Okay. Now, let's bundle two of these numbers. Which two do you want to add first? 
Okay, so 18, and notice I'm stacking it, right? 18 plus 23, 8 and 3 is 11. Carry my 1, 2, 3, 4, 41. So that now I have 41 plus 22. I'm going to put them back in parentheses. I'm going to divide them by 9, and now I'm going to stack my 41 and my 22. 2 plus 1 is... 4 plus 2 is, I'm going to rewrite it in the same color just because it was the same step. Does that make sense? 63 divided by 9. Now what? Hold on. Give her a chance. Divided by 9, which is what? So if we don't know this, this is what we're going to do. There's no shame in not knowing. We just need to figure out a way to get there. Can you figure out what 9 times 5 is? Blurt. 45. So 9 times 6 is going to be 45 plus 9. 45 plus 9 is? 54. 54. Am I at the number I need yet? No. So now I have 9 times 7. 54 plus 9 is? 63. Is that the number I need? Now, look at my fact triangle. Let me show you my fact triangle. I can put my 63 on top, my 9 on the side, and I can put my 7 on the side. So, if I make it multiplication division, if I do it this way, I can say 7 times 9 is 63. I could say 9 times 7 is 63. Or I could say 9 divided by 7 is... Or I could say... Oh, sorry. 63 divided by 7 is 9. Or I could say 63 divided by 9 is 7. So if I am not strong in my division... I can figure it out with multiplication, put it in my fact triangle, and solve my problem. So 63 divided by 9 is 7. What questions do you have? Okay. Turn the page. Oh, my turning the page. You guys are on the same page. Miss Richardson's forgetting. All right. Okay, number 11. Did you guys, did, hands on your head if you got the last problem right. Okay. Number 11 looks like this. 80 minus 6 times 5 times 2. This is where the trickster meets the road. Who wants to do trickster meets the road? I don't know. What do you do first? Multiplication and division goes first. Yes. Now, how do I work multiplication and division? Why? Where's my left side of my paper? Oh, 80, I'm 80 minus 6. No. I got you stuck. I got you stuck. What do you do first? Do we have parentheses? 
Exponents, multiplication, division. Okay, where do I start with multiplication and division? Why? I got you stuck. I got you stuck. <laughs> Why? Because it's what? Where? Yes, multiplication, but where? You're so right, but why? Why are you right? Yeah, but why six times five and not five times two? Left to right. Left to right. You're welcome. I was thinking the Cupid shuffle too. Six times five is what? Thirty. Thirty. Multiply two. Uh, no. You have to rewrite the whole thing. Now what do I do? Why? It's still multiplication. 30 times 2 is 60. Then I have 80 minus 60, which is blurt. 20. What questions do you have? Rules are rules. I just, I, um, hey. Yeah, I just didn't understand what, when you said the problem. I didn't no, no. That's fine. But that's why we go over it and over it and over it and over it and over it. Now, do I really want you stuck? No. No, but it made you giggle, didn't it? And it made you pay attention, didn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. you're like, oh. Well, if she's like, ha-ha, you're stuck, then I'm going to pay better attention. These are tricky, so uh, we're going to do some tricky stuff. Can we do another question like that again? Like what? Like what we just did. Well, we are kind of going to do it. Uh, we'll see. Now, 6 plus 2 times 7 equals... 56. It tells us we have to put parentheses in our problem. We have to add parentheses. Now, here is my huge, monstrous clue. 56. 56 is my huge, monstrous clue. And I have somebody look at me like, what the what, Miss Richardson? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it right out of your book. Number 12. You, you have to add, <clears throat> you have to add parentheses, right? So before we think about adding parentheses, I want to think about what numbers, what multiplication problems equal 56? Something times something equals 56. Eight times seven equals 56. So if I look at my problem over here, where would I need to put the parentheses at? If 8 times 7 is 56, where, oh where, um, am I going to put the parentheses at? Two and seven. 
Well, if I parenthesis 2 and 7, that gives me what? That would give me 14. 14 plus 6, is that going to give me 56? No. Oh. I know. I'm looking for hands. And I know your hand is up, but I have lots of other hands too. Have I given you chances? Yeah. So just be patient with Miss Richardson. Why am I going to put it at 6 plus 2? Six plus two is eight. Eight times seven equals fifty-six. So this guy right there helped me to get to that guy right there. Kind of demystified it. There's other ways to do it. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it. So let's look at number thirteen. 18 minus 6 divided by 2 plus 5 equals 11. So I have all kinds of a mixed mess in there, right? So I might just need to play around with it. So if I'm going to play around, I'm going to play around with... Uh, pencil because they have those giant things called in Eraser. so if I did this what's 18 minus 6 12, 12. And that's the mark that is, is, wait, yeah, okay so if I did 12 divided by 2 plus 5 I think I stumbled on it by dumb luck 12 divided by 2 is 6 plus 5. Is that 11? Yeah. Well, that was dumb luck. So sometimes you just try something. If it works, woo, it works. If it doesn't work, you erase and you try again. That was dumb luck. Dumb luck. Good luck on dumb luck. No, yes. <laughs> so I prefer to use mathematical stuff. And I still did math here. But um, now there could have been different ways I tried to solve it. I could have said 18 minus 6 divided by 2 plus 5 equals 11. So maybe I would have tried... 2 plus 5. If I did 2 plus 5, that would have given me 7 divided by 18 minus 6. Well, I'm going to tell you, 6 divided by 7, is that going to be a pretty number? No. Well, what if I, would I need parentheses if I was doing just division? No. No, I could do it and I could try it, so let's see if I did that. And I'm only showing you because you're going to have to problem solve. Sometimes problem solving is easy cheesy like my dumb luck. And sometimes it's try everything and then finally get the answer. That is called stamina. Stamina means you keep on. Six divided by two is three. 18 minus 3 plus 5, is that going to get me to 11? No. Well, what's 18 minus 3? 15 plus 5 gives me, again, dumb luck the first time. Okay, moving on to number 14. Do you All right, number 14. So we have 10 plus 2 times four minus one equals 16. Yeah, cool. Ooh. Ooh, I have one person that says, ooh, I know. When you think you know, put your hands up. Where would the parentheses go, do you think?
Where do you think the parentheses would go? Dun dun dun. Why? Ah, so my friend says between the four and the around the four and the one, four minus one, he said, makes three. Yeah. So now we have ten plus two times three equals sixteen. What's my next step I have to make? Next step, next step, next. Yep, 2 times 3 is 6. So now I have 10 plus 6 equals 16. Is 10 plus 6 16? Yeah. Booyah! That was a quick catch. Good job. Okay. Uh, 15. You be the teacher. Uh-oh. Now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really honest with you. One of the things that super impressed me about was he corrected his own mistake. So that's what you be the teacher is all about. So let's look at what Newton says. So I'm gonna write it down. Number 15. Are you kidding me? All right, so 15, I have 14 plus 6 divided by 2 equals 20 divided by 2. And then he says it equals 10. Is he right? Now, I'm going to rewrite this. So this is what our friend Newton said. And I'm going to rewrite this, and I want you guys to write this in your paper without all the equals mess and see if you can solve it. I want you to solve this and see if you end up with 10 like Newton did. I do. Did you write it in your notebook? No. Did you follow the steps in your notebook? No. Then don't say I've got it. You guys done? Yeah, can we stand up when we're done? Yep, go on and stand up if you're done. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and go over it. What do you have to do first? First. So 6 divided by 2 is what? 3. And then I have to add my 14. 14 plus 3 is? Is 17 the same answer as 10? So, was Newton right? No. Why was Newton wrong? Wrong. It's 
not about subtracting. What did he not do? Yeah, he was supposed to divide first. Did he divide first? Well, it's either a yes he did or no he didn't. No, he didn't. So if he would have divided first, then he would have been all set, right? But because he didn't divide first, he was wrong, like Donkey Kong. Exactly. And what did I say to you? Put it in your notebook and work the steps. All right, a robotics team orders 14 shirts. The order has a $9 shipping fee. Use the expression 14 times 12 plus 9 to find out how much the team spends on the order. We got to use the order of operations. So we're going to write this in our notebook. I'm going to star it because it's, well, it's an example, so we'll put EX for example. And it's 14 times 12 plus 9. What do we do first? What do we do first? What's 14 times 12? I'm going to put it over here, 14 times 12, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, I'm going to save my spot, I like to use X's, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 1 is 1, then I add 8, 6, 1, 168 plus 9. What do I do now? What do I do now? Oh, you added 168 to 9? Yep. And what did you get? Uh, 177. You are right. 168 plus 9. 7, carry my 1, 7, 177. So they spent $177 on team shirts. What? All right, we get to do some show and grow today. Number 17 looks like this. A parking garage has seven floors with 109 spaces on each floor. There are 486 spaces being used. We're going to use the expression 7 times 109 minus 486 to find out how much is not being used. What do I need to do first? First. So first we're going to do 7 times 109. I don't like to put the 7 on top. It's a lot easier for me to multiply with the 7 on the bottom. Because of the commutative property of multiplication, I can move it to the bottom. I can flip-flop it. 9 times 7 is 63. I'm going to carry my 6. 7 times 0 is 0 plus 6 is 6. Through 7 times 1 is so now I have 763 minus 486. So I'm going to stack my deck. 763 minus 486. Can I take 6 away from 3? No. I have to borrow. The 6 becomes a... 
5, the 3 becomes a 13 minus 6 is 7. seven. 5 minus 8 is 3. You're right, I can't do 5 minus 3. Good catch. So what do I have to do? Borrow from the 7. The 7 becomes a 5 becomes a 15 minus 8 is 7 again. 6 minus 4 is so 277 open spaces. What questions do you have about that one? Fair enough. As long as you can get the multiplication and the adding and subtracting and division, right? Uh, number 18. At a fair, you are riding the swinging ship. Oh, swinging ship. Three times. And the bumper car is for five times. Use the expression three times two, so three times the swinging ship, right? Two tickets for the swinging ship. And five times four, four tickets for bumper cars to find out how many tickets you use in all. So I have number 18. Three times two, parentheses, plus five times four. What am I going to do first? First. Okay, three times two is six, right? Plus parentheses, five times four. What do I do next? Five times four is what? Okay. So now I have 20 plus six. 20 plus six is what? Blurt. 26. 26 tickets? How much is a ticket usually at the fair? 10 bucks. 10 bucks for a ticket? Okay, fair enough. That's fair enough. Woo-wee, you download 128 songs. You divide them into four equal size playlists. You delete one playlist, then you download 56 more songs. Use the expression... One hundred twenty eight minus one hundred and twenty eight divided by four because you put them into four groups, right? Yeah. Plus fifty six because you added fifty six. What do I do first? Okay. So I got to be honest, I don't know 128 off the top of my head divided by 4. So how many times will 4 go into 1? It doesn't, you're right. How many times will 4 go into 12? Wait. 2 times 4 is 8. Three times four is 12. 12 minus 12 is zero. Bring down my eight. How many times will four go into eight? Two times. Two times four is 32. Two times four is eight. Thank you. So this, we know, is 32. See if you can get the next several steps. Try it on your own. Okay. 
So my friends are like, Miss Richardson, we're stuck. So let's rewrite the problem, right? Because we know that's the next step. 128 minus 32 plus 56. Now if I look at my card, what does my card say I have to do? Do I have any multiplication or division left? No. So now I have to... How? Left to right. So if this is my left side, I have to do what first? 128 minus... 128 minus 32. Eight minus two is six. Twelve minus three is one. Wait, we can't do that. Okay, Miss Richardson just grouped it, but we can borrow. That's fine. Zero. So now we have twelve minus three is nine. So now I have ninety-six plus fifty-six. Does that make sense? Left to right left to right so, nope we're just gonna finish it out because I'm almost out of time so I have 96 plus 56 6 and 6 are 12 carry my 1 9 plus 1 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 152 Look at your homework. All right, this is what we're going to do. I want you to do all A L L, all the steps. All. That's not what I said. I said I want you to do all the steps. I'm going to do one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Mm. 13, 15, and 21. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.